Okay, so just a quick summary about two important causes actually of nephritic syndrome. Now we uh, now we are talking about nephritic problem. So again, the, the organ is kidney. Which part of the kidney is the glomeruli? The patient came from hematuria or came with sorry hematuria. Hypertension is important. Oliguria maybe. Okay, oliguria. And the most important thing in your analysis is red blood cell cast. This is very important when you will see red blood cell cast in the question. First differential is glomerular disease. Now, let's take this simple scenario. A patient is has history of upper respiratory tract infection. And now, after two weeks, he has some nephritic presentation, like he has now nephritic presentation. Okay, after what? After two weeks, you have nephritic presentation. Now, the tissue involved in case of glomeruli, look again, this is epithelial cells. What is on the epithelial cells? Usually, this tissue is on epithelial cells or this immune complex mediated type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. We call this again sub epithelial deposit. So, it's a sub epithelial deposit. How about this is a chitron microscopy? How about immunofluorescent test? Will be granular region, will be granular region or granular deposit. So, I think this is easy. We can call this. Post streptococcal glucomyophritis, a lot of people know that. It is not, it is not a thing that is unusual. The problem is here. The same patient upper respiratory tract infection, but let us say this is not two weeks. This is within one day or one to two days or within actually the same period of upper respiratory tract infection. And again, this is the epithelial cells. This is the epithelial cells. Now you don't have problem with the epithelial cells. Okay. There is no deposit in the epithelial cells, but you have problem in this structure which is basically surrounded epithelial cells. Now what I will call this structure, look, this structure will get damaged. So what I will call this structure, I will call this structural mesangium, mesangium structure. So mesangium structure and in mesangium, there is any, as a result of mesangium destruction, there is an increase IgA. And then here is the problem I will call, now I will call this disease is IgA nephropathy. <coughs> Sorry. This is very, very, very important because people usually, when they see upper respiratory tract infection, they don't focus on the time. The time is important. If it is within one day, nephritic presentation, by the way, this is also here nephritic, also here nephritic, within one day, he has the same kidney problem, hematuria, hypertension, oliguria. So if it is within the one day, nephritic problem, you can tell this is mesangial problem. If it is two day, Epithelial problem, which is severe, and now we can tell this is post-epithelial glomerulonephritis.